show. Here's to men and science fiction and a great evening. Uh, well done, Dennis, on fantastic pictures. Simon Merrills. Now yeah. tell me, are you in the men of science fiction book? Yeah. What? Apparently I am. Yeah. And no, I had a fantastic session with Dan, uh, Dennis a couple of years ago, or maybe a year, yeah, nearly a couple of years ago now, a year and a half. Uh, wonderful day, and he's great. You know, puts you at ease, and his shots are fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah. You, do you like taking photos, or well, is it a I'm hassle? I'm saying this to your colleague. No, I, to be honest, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's a hassle, but it's not your favorite part of the job. The publicity element, you know, you, you, you like to slip into other stuff and, and in front of the camera when you're working, you're not, you're not thinking of yourself looking good or trying to look good. So actually, I don't personally seek uh, lots of photographs of myself, but it's good when you work with a good photographer like him because you forget that it's a, a photo session. So it becomes another, another fun day. I'm Marcus Crassus, Marcus Licinius Crassus, uh, the guy who brought down Spartacus. So, um, you know. Oh, you're the bad guy. Well, I don't see it that way. You know, I was uh, just doing my job, you know, and I was loyal to the Republic, and uh, he, was a, he was a dangerous enemy. So, uh, yeah, I don't see myself as a bad guy, but of course, of course, uh, many others would. Well, what do you have coming up? Uh, well, I've just completed the first season of a new show called Nightfall for the History Channel and A&E Studios about the Knights Templar. And uh, we're very excited about it. We've just been at Cannes, the TV festival. Had a fantastic response to the screening of the first episode. So uh, we're looking forward to the next season. Now, the Knights Templar, isn't that part of the Masons? Uh, that's, a later, that's a later construct. I mean, there are some loose, very loose theories and connections which, you know, they, they posit that um, Masonic rituals originated with some early Templar rituals, but um, they're not the same thing at all, you know. In what fashion is the plot? Well, the plot is actually towards the end of their power, which is, and some would argue, the most interesting period. It's after they lose their eastern strongholds, they lead, they, they've lost Jerusalem, they lose the port of Acre, and they go back to their Paris temple. And so it's from 1291 until their downfall in 1307, Friday the 13th, when overnight one of the most powerful, enigmatic, extraordinary military orders were taken down overnight, arrested, put on trial, burned at the stake, uh, and dispersed all over Europe um, through false charges. But uh, so that's the period we're covering. And uh, it's, uh, you don't really have to invent much because the history is extraordinary. So are you pl you're playing an actual character from I'm, history? I'm playing, I'm, it's full of actual characters, but the knights, the three lead knights, uh, played by myself and Tom Cullen and Porrick Delaney, we're playing constructs of known knights and Templar knights. But uh, we're surrounded by real history and real characters. The king is real, the pope's real, and the queen. Now, were the Knights Templar, were they Luciferians? No. These are all part of the false charges that were put, uh, uh, put against them by Philip IV. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what was you his know, motivation? His motivation was to get all their money. Isn't that always the motivation? Yeah. Yeah. The, the charges were ridiculous, and they were discounted by every other king and leader in Europe at the time but they all kind of followed suit, including the Pope, because they realized they could have all their wealth for themselves, and they took it all. It was a terrible crime, but, but they went to their deaths, like, you talk about heroism, I mean, incredible, incredible men, yeah. Well, to be burned at the stake. Well, yeah, and the last Templar master to be burnt at the stake, James de Molay, said to the King and the Pope, I summons you in one year to the court of heaven. And a year later, they were both dead. Wait, that's not Jacques de Molay, is yeah, it? Yeah, so it's an honor to play these characters, you know. Are when you Shakespearean? You, uh, are you, are, is your I education? I started out in theater. I started out in theater. I played a lot of Shakespeare, yeah, in England, in Britain. That's where I'm from. So that was my background. My training was in theater. And then I moved into TV and film, which I love. The Blaring Out Show.